In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve limits by factoring. So in our first example, we have the limit as x approaches 4 of x squared plus x minus 20 over x minus 4. So the first thing you need to do when you solve any limit is take the value that x approaches, and in this case, x is approaching 4. So we need to plug it into our function. So we have 4 squared plus 4 minus 20 over 4 minus 4. And this will simplify to six, 4 squared, which is 16, plus 4, which is 20, and then 20 minus 20 is 0. And on the bottom, we have 4 minus 4, which is also 0. So we have 0 in the numerator and 0 in the denominator. So this means that we're in indeterminate form. So what we're going to have to do is uh, factor or manipulate our function in some way so we can plug in 4 and get an actual value. So in this case, uh, we're going to solve by factoring. So what we're going to do is manipulate the top. So what we're going to have to do is factor x squared plus x minus 20 because it's the only thing that can be factored. So how do we factor this? So what we need to do is find two numbers that multiply to minus 20, but add to um, 1, because we have 1 in front of the x. So what are two numbers that multiply to minus 20? We have 5 and minus 4. And then 5 plus minus 4 is equal to 1, and which is uh, x. So we have x plus 5, x minus 4. And we can check this. x times x is x squared. Uh, x times minus 4 is minus 4x. 5 times x is plus 5x. And then minus 4 times 5 is um, minus 20. And this simplifies to, these can simplify to uh, x. So it's x squared plus x minus 20. So what we can do is rewrite our limit using um, uh, the equation factored. So we'll have the limit as x approaches 4 of x plus 5 x minus 4 over x minus 4. And you can see here that we have these two x minus 4s, they're able to cancel. So we can just cancel these two. And then we're left with the limit as x approaches 4 of x plus 5. And so now what we're able to do is just plug in 4 into our function. Uh, and so we plug in 4, we get uh, 4 plus 5, which is equal to 9. So our answer is 9. So the limit as x approaches 4 of x squared plus x minus 20 over x minus 4 is 9. So let's try another example. And if you want to go ahead and solve this yourself, go ahead and pause the video. So the limit as x approaches 8 of x squared minus 64 over x minus 8. So what we need to do is plug in 8. So 8 squared minus 64 over 8 minus 8. 8 squared is 64, and 64 minus 64 is 0. And then 8 minus 8 is 0. So it's indeterminate. So we're going to have to factor. So what we need to do is factor x squared minus 64. And so this is a difference of squares. So what you need to do is take the square root of x, x squared, which is x, and then you can minus it, minus the square root of 64, which is 8, and then do the same thing, but do x plus the square root of 64, which is 8. So what you can do is just do x minus the square root of the number on the right if it's a perfect square. And so perfect squares are numbers like 4, 9, 25, 36, and so on. So, and we can also check this. So x times x is x squared, and then 8 times x is 8x, and then uh, minus 8 times x is minus 8x, and then minus 8 times 8 is minus 64. And then so our plus 8x and minus 8x cancel, so we have x squared minus 64. So now that we have uh, it factored, we have the limit as x approaches 8, of x minus 8, x plus times x plus 8 over x minus 8. And so just in the just like the last example, we can cancel. And so now we have the limit as x approaches 8 of x plus 8. So all we need to do is plug in 8. And then 8 plus 8 is 16. So our final answer is 16. So the limit as x approaches 8 of x squared minus 64 over x minus 8 is 16. So let's try another example. Pause the video if you want to do this on your own. So the limit as x approaches 1 of 6x cubed minus 6x squared over x to the fourth minus x squared. So when we plug in 1, we get 6 times 1 cubed, which is just 6, and then minus 6 times 1 squared. 1 squared is 1. Multiplied by 6 is just 6. And then on the bottom, we have 1 to the fourth power, which is 1, and then minus 1 squared, which is also 1. 
So we have 6 minus 6 in the numerator, which is 0. And then on the bottom, we have 1 minus 1, which is 0 in the denominator. So we have 0 over 0. This is indeterminate form. So we're going to have to manipulate our function by factoring in, a, in order so we can plug something in. So how do we factor the top? We have 6x cubed minus 6x squared. What we can do is take out a 6x squared. So this can be 6x squared. And then so 6x squared, uh, if we take that out from 6x cubed, we just have x. And then if we take that out from minus 6x squared, we just have minus 1. 6x squared times x is 6x cubed. And then 6x squared times minus 1 is uh, minus 6x squared. So, and then on the bottom, we have x to the fourth minus x squared. So when we factor out an x squared, we have x squared minus 1. So the top and bottom don't look exactly alike, but they're more factored. So how can we get an x minus 1 on the bottom to cancel with the top? Well, if you remember from the last example, x squared minus 1 is uh, the difference of perfect squares. So what we can do is manipulate x squared minus 1 and make it equal to x minus 1, x plus 1. So now we have on the bottom 6x squared times x minus 1 over x minus 1 times x plus 1. And so now the, the x minus 1s cancel. So we can rewrite this as the limit as x approaches 1 of 6x squared over x plus 1. And so now we can just plug in 1. So 6 times 1 squared is just 6 times 1, which is 6, over 1 plus 1, which is just 2. So 6 over 2, if we simplify that, we get 3. So our final answer is 3. So here's another problem. Pause the video and try this one on your own. So the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 2x plus 2 over x minus 2. So what we need to do is plug in 2. So it's 2 squared minus 2 times 2 plus 2 over 2 minus 2. So on the bottom, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. But on the top, we have 2, two squared, which is 4, minus 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 2. And this all comes out to 2. So we have 2 over 0, which means that the limit is undefined. It doesn't exist. There's a vertical asymptote. So we don't need to manipulate this problem at all. We already have the answer, which is 2 over 0. And this is a problem that I see uh, other students make when trying to solve uh, limits by factoring. They need to always plug in the number first. So whenever you're solving any limit, always try direct substitution first before you try and manipulate it. Because if you tried to manipulate this problem, you would have just gotten stuck. But if you plug in it first, you don't have to do all the work and you can just get the answer right away. Here's another example. The limit as x approaches 3 of 16x minus 48 over x squared plus x minus 12. So let's do direct substitution first. So 16 times 3 minus 48 over 3 squared plus 3 minus 12. 16 times 3 is 48. 48 minus 48 is 0. 3 squared is 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. So it's indeterminate. So what we're going to have to do is factor both the top and bottom. So what can we factor out the top? What can we factor out of 16x minus 48? We can factor out a 16. So we get 16 times x minus 3 on top. What about the bottom? We have x squared plus x minus 12. So what we can factor out here is we need two numbers that multiply to minus 12 but add to 1. So what two numbers do this? Well, we have x minus 3 and x plus 4. Because x times x is x squared x times 4 is 4x, minus 3 times x is minus 3x, and then minus 3 times 4 is minus 12. And so the minus 3x and the plus 4x just become 1. So now we have the limit as x approaches 3 of 16 times x minus 3 over x minus 3 times x plus 4. And you can see here that the x minus 3s cancel. So now we have the limit as x approaches 3 of 16 over x plus 4. And now we're able to just do direct substitution. So we have 16 over 3 plus 4. And 3 plus 4 is 7. So now we have 16 over 7. So the value of this limit is 16 over 7. 
So here's one last problem. Pause the video and try this one on your own. So the limit as x approaches 2 of x cubed minus 8 over x minus 2. So let's plug in 2. 2 cubed is 8 minus 8 over 2 minus 2. 8 minus 8 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. So we're in indeterminate form. So we got to factor out the top. So how do we factor x cubed minus 8? So in order to factor x cubed minus 8, we can use the difference of cubes formula, which says that a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. And so a is equal to x and b is equal to 2. So let's plug in the values into this. So a is x minus b is 2 multiplied by a squared, which is just x squared, plus x, which is a, times b, which is 2, plus 2 squared, which is b. So we have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. So that's what our new top is. So the limit as x approaches 2, and now on top, we have x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. And on the bottom, we have x minus 2. And so the x minus 2 and the x minus 2 cancel. So we're left with the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus 2x plus 4. And so now all we need to do is plug in 2. So 2 squared plus 2 times x, which is just 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 4. So 2 squared is 4 plus 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 12. So our final answer is equal to 12. Thanks for watching today's video and subscribe for more math help.